Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna to be doing our flame test lab. Let's go ahead and look at some background science before we get started. So remember that when we have an electron in its ground state, which is its original starting orbital, when we apply some kind of thermal energy or heat to it, it will go to its excited state. And what that is, is when it jumps up to the next orbital, okay? But it can't stay there forever, so it's gonna eventually fall back down to its ground state, which is where it originally started from. But when it does that, when it makes that transition back down, it will actually shoot out a photon. And a photon is just a ray of light. So we know the rainbow Roy G. Biv, and hopefully you guys can remember that all the colors of the rainbow have a different wavelength. So if you look at the bottom, red has the longest wavelength and it gets shorter and shorter as we go down to violet and violet has the shortest wavelength, which means it also has the highest energy and the highest frequency. So we have a lot more waves occurring, but if we go and we look at red again, um, this is gonna have the lowest frequency, the least amount of waves occurring, but it also will give us the lowest amount of energy. So based off of this, our flame will turn different colors. So how I set this up, I set this up the day before we do the lab and I go ahead and I make an aqueous solution out of each of the chemicals that we're gonna be testing. I crush them up and I put them in some water, stir it up, dissolve it really well. And then I just pop some popsicle sticks in so they can get nice and saturated overnight so that hopefully they don't burn the wood too much because really we're just looking to burn the chemical in our lab. So I go ahead and I label them one through seven. Um, seven is gonna be our unknown. In other words, we're gonna really test six different chemicals, but then our seventh one will be a repeat of one of these, and I need you all to figure out which one it is, okay? So on your lab sheet, you can go ahead and answer your pre-lab questions, and then you will notice you have this chart, and this chart is going to help you determine which chemical you are burning at each lab station. So if you look, for example, in ACL, we'll burn in an orange flame, and so on and so forth. So read these over, get familiar with the colors that you're gonna be looking for, and remember, we're not looking to burn the wood, we're just looking to burn the chemical. So if you see the word the wood burning, go ahead and grab another popsicle stick and try it because you have multiple at your lab station. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this play out. All right, so let's go ahead and conduct the lab. Grab one of your popsicle sticks from station one. You wanna tap it off so it doesn't have a lot of access that are gonna drip down into your Bunsen burner. And then go ahead, observe the color, look at your data sheet to see which one that matches, and go ahead and stick it back into that beaker Grab your next one, make sure you tap it off, get the extra off of it so it doesn't drip in your Bunsen burner, and then put it right over the flame. You can see that we are working with a, um, a very tight blue flame in our Bunsen burner. You want to make sure that you adjust the gas until you see that blue color. Um, if you are working with a yellow flame, go ahead and adjust your gas flow until you can get that blue. It's going to work much better. Also, go ahead and turn off the lights. With the lights off, you can see the color shining through a lot more. And this one is about to conclude. And then we're gonna go back and grab the next one, which is number four. Again, notice I'm tapping off each one as I do it. And then put it directly over the flame, not too close um, to where the gas is actually coming out. Put it at the upper part of the flame. And then here goes number five. And then we're gonna do number six. This is one of my favorites right here. I love this one. And then remember number seven is our unknown substance. So it is going to be a repeat or a duplicate of one of the ones we've already done. So take a look at this color, see if you can match it up with one of the ones we've already shown you today. 
All right, guys, so that does conclude our lab. Go ahead and work on those post-lab questions. Teachers, if you like this, I'm gonna go ahead and put this lab report on Teachers Pay Teachers for free. I will include the link to that in the description below. Um, make sure that you go over lab safety rules with your kids before they even start the lab. Make sure they know where the fire extinguisher is and that fire blanket and any other tidbits that they might need to know about your classroom and safety. I hope you all like this video. Go ahead, like, and subscribe for more. See y'all later. Bye, everybody.